All right, what's going on guys? Today's video is a product review or demo or test because I was actually curious about this product and I bought it solely for this purpose of testing. I'm a big supporter and follower of Street Speed. And so when it came out with this like wheel cleaner, I was like, hmm, I wonder how that compares to the Patterson car here. Two YouTubers making their own stuff, that's cool. But just like David's, I was skeptical at first, like how good is it? So once I tried David's, I was like, this is like the best stuff. And so the only problem with David's is I have to order it every time, which isn't a huge deal, but it's something to keep in mind. Same thing with this one, you're gonna have to order it. And so a good medium I found was Super Clean Wheel Cleaner. That's a pretty good medium. It's fairly cheap, you can find it everywhere. I think this was 10-ish dollars, we'll just say $10. This is the most expensive one I've ever used. I've used Chemical Guys, I'm not a big big fan of it that was like 12 bucks for the same size bottle this was 27 dollars with shipping you know 20 bucks for it but 750 to ship so it came out to 2750 and you only get 16 ounces for comparison patterson car care is 32 ounces and it's 20 bucks i think he might have free shipping rounded up with shipping and tax we'll say patterson car care and street speed same price but you get half as much for the same price so is it Twice as good, do you have to use half to get the same effect as Patterson Car Care? That's what I'm gonna find out. Same thing with Super Clean. This is half the price of Patterson Car Care, but you still get the same amount. Do you have to use more than Patterson Car Care? Does it not clean as well? I actually like this. You do have to scrub, but I scrub every time. Uh, Patterson, you don't really have to scrub, but I still do. So we'll see how this one goes. And he also says you can use it for soot. So like, uh, if you get, like his Corvette is like black at the, whatever the rear end of it, where the taillights are, between the taillights. Whatever you call it, like on, like on my car, that's the deck lid. He also says you can use it on like exhaust tips and uh, stuff like that. So I'll try it on that too. But we're gonna head to the car wash that I like to go to, because again, I'm in an apartment. Probably clean the wheels first and then wash the car. We'll come back, we'll take a look at them. It's not too far down, so driving back shouldn't get too much brake dust on it. So we're at the car wash, it's a little windy, but as you can see, these are what my wheels are like. So this is pretty straightforward. You just spray it on. You don't spray it wet first. Spray it on, let it sit a minute, just like all the other wheel cleaners, and uh, spray off. And I'll also do my exhaust tips while we're at it. So we're gonna do the back two wheels first because they are the dirtiest, and we'll scrub them up. I will use the brush and then we'll spray them off it works pretty much immediately once it hits anything on the wheel kind of makes it fall off touch up the rears in some spots.
spray it on. We're back. And the wheels look just as clean as anything else. I'd say it's just about as easy as Patterson. Just more expensive. I haven't tried Patterson on the exhaust tips, so, but it works. It's just expensive. I'd say the performance doesn't really outweigh the price. Justification. Final thoughts on this. So, that's one wash. So I'd say you probably get three washes out of this bottle. Three washes, 27 bucks, that's almost $10 a wash. That's not gonna cut it for me. Is it a good product? Yeah, it works. And uh, probably under ideal conditions, you know, not at a self-serve car wash, but at home when you have a hose, I'd say it works. Am I gonna buy it again? Probably not. Uh, just the price. I have, I can get the same or better products for less and way more volume so I don't have to buy them as often. If this was 32 ounces or 30 bucks, I could see it. It's the same price as Patterson Car Care. Very competitive market right there, but it's not. So volume is definitely a big factor. And uh, street speed, if you watch this, I can fix that labeling. If you try to get that bottle cost down, even though it looks like it's pretty far down. You I'm not gonna buy it again. Does that mean you shouldn't buy it? No, I'd recommend checking it out, see if you like it. But for me, I'm probably gonna stick with Super Clean or Patterson Cocker. That's probably my two. I just like this because I can get this anywhere, same day. Patterson Cocker, have to order, wait a couple days, you know the deal. I am a big fan of Street Speed, like I said, like you can, Texas flag, that's that's their key tag. So, Patterson Cocker has a little chemical-y smell. It didn't smell good, like, you know, chemical guys or Adams. Um, and Super Clean kind of has like a, more citrusy smell, less less chemical, but more citrusy. And this one, uh, let's see what this one is like. You know what? That smells like uh, whiteboard cleaner. Hang on. This is definitely like the same makeup almost, and it almost sprays clear. Like you would you would think looking at this, it's a green product, but uh, if you look in there. It's clear, you can tell at the top that the label's tinted green. Um, and when you spray it on the wheel, it's clear, it's not really a color. But this Expo whiteboard cleaner, it's a little different, but that's what it reminds me of is whiteboard cleaner, or like maybe Windex is what I'm thinking of. Who knows, it's probably alcohol based. Shane or Mike, if you're watching this, reach out to me. I'd like to fix the package, because it's good, it could be better. That's also my major, in case you didn't know, was packaging science, so fun fact. Mike, Shane, I'm still gonna buy your merch, but uh, probably not this one. It's just the price, man. That's really it for me, that's the kicker, it's the price. Or, if you doubled the volume, made it 32, same price, that would also work. It wouldn't cost that much more in the bottle itself if you just doubled the volume, by the way. So, catch you on the next one.